Good morning, this is Sean, day two of my video journal. Um, yesterday I was surprised, I was, I'm not sure what the word is, but I was, I guess, scared about posting my initial video monologue to Facebook for me to just open up in a way that I felt comfortable with. Um, but surprisingly, I there was no negative feedback. Nobody was saying that I was scraping for attention or anything derogative. I was actually surprised by the outpouring of support that people said that I had the courage to be able to come forward and be able to openly discuss, or at least start to openly discuss what's happening in my life. Um, I think it's important that I do this video journal because it's, it's forcing me to look at myself every day and it's forcing me to have conversations with myself that I've never really had before. It also is forcing me to look at myself as the way other people see me. Um, which is not something that I've ever been used to doing because I've always seen myself as subpar to what other what other individuals have seen in me. Um, and so it's an interesting prospect to have to look at myself every day now and really confront what my eyes see versus what I'm told. And I find it fascinating that there is such a disconnect because I have just always, I've never felt, I'm not sure, I, I guess I've never felt the, the same way as what other people have viewed me as. In other words, I've been able to fake it and say, oh, thank you, that's great. But it's never really stuck from a self-image perspective and so I've been reading this book it's called complex PTSD from surviving to thriving and I think I mentioned yesterday maybe I didn't maybe I've just been thinking to myself that the book in and of itself is a bit clumsy to read but there are some very important points that have begun have begun to manifest with me as far as what the road to recovery looks like, how to overcome the innate fear of myself. Um, and this is one of the ways that I've discovered I can do that. It's a comfortable medium where I can just sit here on the bar stool, have breakfast, have my coffee, but able to openly express myself and me having the choice and the power to let the world see this or let myself just hold on to it and you know maybe make a compilation at the end of the week or or something that has an impactful message for others to follow but the most important piece right now is that it has an impactful message for me uh i'm not sure if i'm ever going to play back what i've seen but that's probably an important piece that i'll have to come back to at some later date and time <clears throat> so with that being said, there's there's a pre, there's a part in the book that says, you know, as part of as part of going through this process, there's a reparenting component to it, and there's I'm laughing because I don't want to read this, but at the same time, I do want to read this. Um, my actual new theme song is actually there's two. The first one is Just Fine by Mary J. Blige, and that's no surprise because, you know, I love her, and that's I, that's it. I just love her. Um, the other one is I Want to Know What Love Is, but I found this really cool me, uh, remix by Winona Judd, and between the two of them, it's actually, if I can figure out how to use GarageBand, it'll be a fun, it'll be a fun remix that I get to make for myself. Um... Uh, the other thing that I was thinking, I think maybe the day before yesterday, as I decided to walk home from the gym just to save money, because it's not that far. It's far enough where I couldn't walk back and forth, but it's a far, it's a short enough where it's kind of a nice break if I just want to escape the 
the the trials and tribulations of things that are happening in my life right now. But with that being said, a big thing that I noticed yesterday was I was afraid to look it actually I was afraid to look into the camera while I was making my first post. And actually I, I lied. I did go back and watch it. But I saw myself as scared or I was ashamed to say the fact that I suffer from bipolar disorder and you know complex post-traumatic stress disorder and you know whatever else will be uncovered along the way as I go through this journey. Um, so I'm gonna read I'm, I'm gonna read through these reparenting affirmations. I, I'm not gonna look up but then I'm gonna come back to them and try to say them to myself without without laughing at myself or actually giving myself a, a sincere compliment. The first one is, I'm so glad you were born. You're a good person. I love who you are and am doing my best to always be on your side. You can come to me whenever you're feeling hurt or bad. You, don't, you do not have to be perfect to get my love and protection. All of your feelings are okay with me. I'm always glad to see you. It's okay for you to be angry and I won't let you hurt yourself or others when you are. <clears throat> you can make mistakes. They are your teachers. You can know what you need and ask for help. You can have your own preferences and taste. <laughs> you are delightful to my eyes. You can choose your own values. <clears throat> You can pick your own friends, and you don't have to like everyone. You can sometimes feel confused and ambivalent and not know all the answers, and I'm very proud of you. Actually, I think the one that I believe right now is that I'm proud of myself for taking these steps forward. I'm actually most proud of the fact that I let go of my hang, my hang up, at least in this moment in time to sit here and record these videos um you know when i when i was uh, when i was originally thinking about this i was thinking of others and you know i wanted to be an inspiration to others but that was the wrong focus or that is the wrong focus well that's a nice it's a nice what is it um it's a nice knock-on effect, but the truth is, is that I need to inspire myself. And I think this is a way to do it, or a way that makes sense for me, because I've never, I've never looked at myself. You know, I've always just relied on others to have an interpretation of me. And it's interesting to see, it's interesting to hear the my level of ability to articulate what, what I'm thinking and my thoughts that I'm having. I, I just find it, I find it fascinating that things are, things are flowing rather freely. Um, and it's comforting because this is really how I wanted to be able to communicate all along because the reality is, is the thoughts are there. It's just being able to slow down, take a moment and think about how I collectively present myself. Um, given everything that's happened, there's still a lot of emotion that I'm going through. Um, and I'm finding comfort in the discomfort of the fact that I'm having to deal with this and I'm having to go through it. and. I think it was, I think it is the right time for this to happen because I'm here in California. Um, I don't have a fallback, a fallback plan. And the entire time that I've been here, I never wanted a fallback back plan because I didn't want to be able to have it. I didn't want to have the ability to retreat into a plan B. Um, I've just, I, I've, that I've wanted to live as I live and live for myself 
but be a part of something bigger. And so I think I'll close today with the fact that I got emotional reading the things that I went through. Um, you know, the reparenting affirmations, I think it's I think it's funny that they're called that, but it makes sense. Um, but it's it, it's very interesting that I actually was able, I, I actually am at this point in time to grab onto one of those that um, I'm proud of myself for beginning this journey and being able to share this journey openly, because I think that's one of the things that's missing in society is that we're not willing to express it, that we're not willing to acknowledge it for it being mental health issues or trauma or things of that nature. We're not willing to confront ourselves. And with that confrontation of ourselves, we're exposing ourselves and creating this vulnerability. Um, that dare I say comfort, comforting, um, because <clears throat> I found advocates, I found people who want to listen, who are interested in listening, and even if nobody ever listens to these, the, these messages that I'm putting out on YouTube, um, I'm listening. I'm listening to myself, and that's 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 the very large component. And um, and typically with my former reaction to things like this, you know, I would have been very sarcastic and told the world, you know, that they could go fuck themselves, and that I was doing this for me with, and I didn't care about what they were thinking. Even though the reality was, is I was a mess and hoping for acceptance. But this time, there's a genuine piece of me that wants the feedback, but is not concerned with the rejection if the feedback is negative. Um, and I know I have a long way to go, so don't take this as a holy grail that I was cured overnight or that this is going to be an easy process because I know that it's not, but it's a process nonetheless. And, you know, I just, I'm grateful that I have this medium because I feel as though there's a lot of people that don't. Um, but, you know, with that said, I'm leveraging the tools that are helpful to me to be able to, you know, maybe expedite getting through some of these trials and tribulations. Um, and I think that will put a wrap on it for today.